Yes, Brother Christopher, we're meeting again. Um, as I told you, I will be here to um, film you as you use your gifted hands to produce your various products. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been here? Uh, approximately, I would say five years. Five years? Yeah. Okay. And how productive has this project been? Um, it was very productive at one time. But then right now there's been a slowdown, I would say, for the past two years. Mm -hmm. Things have slowed down a bit. Why do you think this is so? Um, I believe that has to do with the economy, the state of the economy. Okay. Yeah, but because you find when people have money to spend, then they buy. Okay. If there's no money to spend, well, people cannot buy, you know, so that slows down the business, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, that means you, you have kept on pressing on in spite of the odds yes. against you, yes. and that is very good. Yeah, I must commend you for that. Because this is, I do it because it's something I enjoy doing. Also. Yeah, you have a passion for the craft. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> Can you just demonstrate, you know, show us how you, you go about, you know, making those products, those slippers? Okay, well, uh -huh. well first of all, I start with um, the cords. I have this cord here, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I use this. And then, here, okay, I know you can see these nails. Mm -hmm. I have some nails here. Yeah, like I cut. I cut the cords according to the length that I need and then I hang them in the nails here, you know? Right? And then I tie the no tie the tie the cord together to get this here, this strap here. This is what you call macrome, right? Mm -hmm. So I use it to make these straps. And then when I when I have my straps ready, I use this material which is called the inner sole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I shape it according to the size or the shoe that I want, and then I cut it out, and I use um, the, the rubber which is on the sole also for the bottom, mm -hmm. you know, so when I have all my parts ready, I just fit everything in place, stick it them up, and then I have a pair of slippers, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they look so attractive, you use yes. different colors, yes. Um, yes. do you customize them? Um, that means you make them for specific customers, for yes, example, the demands? Yes, yes, for example, if I have orders, uh -huh. you know, I make them specially for the people accordingly. And then, but at the same time, since that's a business, I make shoes to sell. You know, I just make shoes and put them in my tray to sell. Okay, you do know, you... If I, if I get orders, then I just do my orders as well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you sell them to the hotels or, or the craft shops? No, no, no. Okay. Usually what I do on Saturdays, I usually do it for and sure. how, how successful has that been? Um, sometimes good, sometimes bad, you know. Like I say, it all depends on the state of the economy at the time, you know. Okay, but are you satisfied with what, how things have been going? I mean, you do, can um, you survive on well, your I would say, level of production? I would say, before, like I said, uh, things were, was going well. Mm -hmm. And for about the two, past two years, things mm -hmm. have been, had, had a down too, you know. Okay. Yeah. They not really pick up yet since then. Now, but who taught you how to, to make those? Um, oh, well, because... some guys in castries, you know, I used to go around and I saw them doing the works and I was got interested, you know, so okay. I made it my duty to learn, you know. Okay, so you learned from them and you passed it on, you came to your community and you continued the trip. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> okay. No, actually, there is not really my community. Well, it's my community because I live here, right? But I'm not really from Tirochi. Oh, you're not from Tirochi? No, I'm from Castries. Oh, okay. And I was um, part of the construction team when we were building the hotel at Tumasi. Okay. Yeah, but I like the place, so I just end up staying, you know? Okay, you know, whatever skills we have as the older folks, we have to pass it on mm -hmm. to the next generation, yes, you know? Yes, so. Yes. And I'm doing that. Really yeah, and that's, what, that's interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. the youth who come around me, the only ones who cannot do something here is those who, who are not interested. Okay. Yeah, but everybody is interested in learning something. Mm. Everybody is interested in learning something. I love your work. I, I love coming by. And I just decided to ensure that um, we feature you okay. in this project. So I just wish you success and hope that in the years to come, things will get better. Okay. Um, if you had one wish, what would that be? Can you see us? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What I wouldn't mind having uh, getting the opportunity to pursue at least a three months course in leather craft just to improve my skills a little bit, you know, to learn a, a little more. 
and then now after having the skills then I would love to come and pass that on to the youth. You know? But you already have the skill I guess you yes, but yes. you want to enhance yeah, yeah, what you yeah, have. Yes, I want to um, that is what you call self development right. and um, what you want to do is to ensure that you can do it even better. Right, that's and right. I mean the skills that you have not obtained that you, right. you, you get them right. and then you will pass on more. In fact right. your basket will be right. full oh, yes. and then you'll be able to pass mm -hmm. on more to the yes. to the folks, you yes. know, who come by and yes. who really want to learn from you. Oh, yes. I admire you for you know yeah. just just keeping there and holding tight yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so god bless yes. all right then all god right, bless yes. okay